In this edition of Behind the Bulletin, we speak to economic analyst Amber Watson about her article, Disruption or Distraction, How Digitisation is Changing New Zealand Banks and Core Banking Systems. What is digital disruption in the banking sector? This is a change that we are seeing in the banking industry as consumers are now expecting the same digital service from their banks as they can receive from other industries. And as new technology developments enable competitors like Apple or Google to provide these services. Where is this disruption taking place? The disruption is taking place in the retail payment sector and the retail lending sector. Some examples of this would be Apple Pay or peer-to-peer lending. However, we haven't noticed significant disruption in what banks would consider to be core services. These are things like deposit taking. And this is probably because these core services are subject to more regulation. What are the main findings of this bulletin article? The article explores how this disruption is materialising internationally and in New Zealand. And the aim is to discover whether this is merely a fancy concept or a distraction, or whether it's resulting in more fundamental change to the banking industry or a disruption. We do find that there is some evidence of this genuine change in the banking sector, in particular how banks are responding to the disruption. How is the Reserve Bank responding? The Reserve Bank has a mandate to promote financial system soundness, so we're particularly interested in any substantial risk to the banking sector. The article explores the potential risks or benefits from the digital disruption. So far, we haven't seen any of these risks materialise, but we will continue to maintain a watching brief.